previously on the best automatic I went all environmentally friendly to show you lot about electric cars and how good they are but unfortunately Captain Gorgeous tried to mass a win but he's a bit of a prat because he kept on crashing his No I didn't I mean you kept on crashing yours look at there So I'm proving they were nice and safe but the point is what we were seeing there is the insurance investigator needs to investigate about the murders but unfortunately she's trying to interview the GIMP for interrogation yeah that was the one on the left so we averted doing this challenge by using rocket vehicles because Captain Gorge is here with his green mobile put a rocket engine on like he's going to sort us all out not to burn rocket fuel and all the aeroplanes in the sky will have to be paper aeroplanes or gliders no I didn't well he's trying to get so environmentally friendly by using all the jet fuel in all the world and burn it all up that's what your point was no anyhow yeah, I won that challenge so we did another one on the Irish fella well he started messing about doing his car up and it was meant to be on based on the 80s theme so the gimp got bored so we did another challenge but the gimp well he needed to borrow my motor so I let him borrow it and he ruined it like what he did to it and made it look like a little princess and I didn't like it but he's rubbish at doing this challenge doing the train hopping challenge he was absolutely totally rubbish at it alright what about that ticket on your motor? oh yeah <laughs> do you prefer a Ferrari, a Lamborghini because it's Italian or do you like German vehicles? Lamborghini well next time buy one of them instead of a bloody Porsche or what? <laughs> yeah. So I'll translate it. Uh, finally bought a Lamborghini, but it broke down. I heard your, your Lamborghini's in the garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have to drive a rental then, won't you? <laughs> right, okay. Oh, what a pity. Did you get another ticket on your cheap motor there? <laughs> like, oh, what a damn. That I was pathetic because. Never more, that. Let's watch our original challenge. What? But brav. What do you mean, previous show? Nobody won that train hopping challenge. You didn't even get on the train. Yeah, I did. I mean, oh yeah. Well, the car hopping onto train challenge. Um, you're right. There was no clear winner, so the producers have asked me to explain this to you. So I, I'm going to attempt this. A challenge means a call to someone to participate in a competitive situation or fight to decide who is superior in terms of ability, strength or skill. How to prove or justify something. A challenge to the legality of the banning order in childish terms who's out and remaining victor. This brings us on to competition meaning. The activity or condition of striving to gain or win something by default defeating or establishing superiority over others which you do verbally in a childish way but never actually complete with a clear winner so the producers and insurance company need this challenge to have a clear point system for each so a competition winner can be declared for the season's tournament and not just a pointless encounter the show needs clear opposition as you wouldn't play any sport with no clear game round heat or fixture so please keep a track of your scores so I can declare a win at the end of the season. So for begging rights that you clearly crave and the prize of a substantial pay rise over the losing participation participants. In short, you need a winner and losers to this and every other challenge after so the show has structure. It now desperately lacks and with actual facts for your fans so they can relate and look forward to the next show please. What the hell is she babbling on about? Anyhow. I'm not babbling. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get that. I mean, I'm pointing out that he's doing previous thing. 
and actually lying about it. Yeah, you are right. The gimp did do the challenge. No, he did it. He messed it all up. I saw it. You just seen it just now. He's no, the only one no, who completed it. Oh, sorry, madam, but um. Yo, but my theory is, I might be presenting this show this time. We're all equal presenters at the moment until we have the clear winner at the end of the season. But the point is, though, right, it's like that film I've seen, right? Because we well, definitely saw him actually complete that challenge, right? And next thing, we've seen some footage that he's um, actually messing up. Yeah, well, he was, bruv. No, I think you're imitating that film, um, Death Race, from Jason Statement, alright. That one with Frankenstein? Yeah, I think it was you in that vehicle. Never mind about my brother's escapades. Now we're going to get on the part of the show where the Gimp is going to do another speed challenge. Is the camera down there? Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, let's go on, bit. Here we have the Gimp doing a speed challenge with the 1970s Dodge Challenger, a 440 cubic inch V8. Only eight white challengers were loaned from Chrysler during the filming of the original 1971 Vanishing Point. Many believed the 426 Hemi V8 was used for this classic film, but wasn't. Only one out of the eight Challenger RTs remained after shooting the film, and white was chosen to stand out against the mostly desert scenery. Not, oh, yeah, yeah. not for any symbolic meaning, as the director Drew Stanfans stated this on the DVD special features. But before DVD release, this was a symbolic attachment to this film. It's car shade with many petrol heads. However, the title Vanishing Point makes no sense even to the director, who jokes Van had lost 2.5 points, which he joked where the vanishing points were. After doing it, after going 80 grand over 1.3 million budget by spending it on visceral aesthetics with Dolby artists. This classic, in my opinion, with a pointless ending, has been well known for its soundtrack in the 70s. I have, but I'm trying to ignore you. But in 1997, the British rock band Primal Scream released their Vanishing Point album, conceived an alternative soundtrack to the movie. As in one desert shot, it showed the Challenger as right hand drive. So this movie has an effect on music from gospel to influencing Guns N' Roses 1991 album, Use Your Illusions 2, in the breakdown song. So check out this beloved petrol head movie and if not a fan of pointless suicides, then check out the movie's music influences. Now Gimp, you haven't contacted my office to cooperate with the investigation, why? Now to explain the other challenge we're going to do. Yes please, but as soon as I need to point out, as soon as I ask the Gimp a question, he logs off and this is something I will have to report to my underwriters. What? And this shows management as it's delaying the investigation's conclusion. This is my bit but won't stop the serious consequences infinitely. That this has finite deadline, film. regardless of the dodge tactics. And the fact that you... Talking about, I'm talking over your bit. You need to take this up with the gimp, not me. Look, we'll just spend a fortune on this bit, or what? What the hell is meant to be going on? What is this with the Christmas lights doing on? Look, we spent a fortune on this to demonstrate our challenge, right? We're doing the vanishing point challenge, right? So, we're going to a convenience store. I'm doing the challenge first, you know. I'll explain it better than you. So, well, I rob a convenience store and go around this lake as these little weird Christmas lights are explaining. Yeah, or well, it costs the fortune to pack these lights up because it's coming up to that time of year for everyone. Yeah, Christmas. So you'll be opening all your presents and all that lot. And it'll all be nice and sweet. Never mind that, bruv. I might be presenting this show. Oh, now we've got stupid little Christmas lights on. What to explain about going around a blaming like? Yeah, but I spent a fortune. Whose fortune did you spend? I well, think it's the... quite effective. Well, she would say that, wouldn't she? Right, I'm going to simply explain our distracted Christmas lights. Now, the point is, when I rob the shop,
for the plastic bag. I got to destroy many police cars as I do. You mean for a plastic bag? Well, this is what the keeper gives me a plastic bag. I mean, it's worth money, you know. So you're destroying all the police cars over a plastic bag you would be charged 5p for in Scotland, Wales, England and Northern Ireland. Which seems mean when all the retailers, by law, can't include bag charge under their profits. Instead, it goes to a good cause of the individual retailer's choice. So stealing a plastic bag is taking 4p from a charity box as 1p is for the bag's manufacturing distribution. In the first year, this this made 66 million donated to charity in 2016 in its first year across the entire UK. And I think also what you're trying to explain with the Christmas lights is you're going all the way around the lake after robbing the shop, destroy as many police cars as possible until you return all the way back to the scene of the crime. Well, I might want a 10p bag. Why would you steal from a charity? I've oh, oh, got the idea what happened in the um, vanishing point. He felt guilty. That's why he crashed in them bulldozers, because he robbed from a charity. That didn't happen in the movie, you idiot. He didn't have a plastic bag. Look, fellas, you just missed a police car crashing. Since when? I didn't see no police car crashing at all. There isn't one. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it. Look, mine's on the left-hand side. Why you put your point system at zero? Look. There's plenty of police cars because crashing! The one on the right is the actual count caught on film, you know, one with evidence, not something from your perspective. Look, there's four of them would have crashed no. there! No, that's just a bit of fender bending, not right off. No, 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 we'll give you that one, that looks like it's gonna crash. Yeah, no, that, one. no. that one's right off. There's seven police cars would have been destroyed! No, only one. No, yeah, the there's only been one. They've just bumped into each other. They've done damage themselves by crashing into each other. This is about how look, many you can destroy. Skill. Look at my skill. Look, another one crashed there. No, oh, it didn't. It just bumped into a thing. It just into look, a it's movie quality police car chasing. You know the police crash all the time in the movies. We'll give yeah, you that one because that rolled over. No. Oh. You're only on two so far. I ain't! I'm doing a lot better! You've just been not paying attention listening to you about the plastic bags. No! Oh. Look! The other one's crashed there! That even even a police car, that doesn't count! Yes it does! That one crashed! No! Come on! You, you, the 13 police cars want to crash there! I clearly have to keep a, a close eye on the point system because you clearly can't do the maths yourself. This is about how many to write off, not how many crashes caused by the actual police crashing into themselves. You've got to write the police car off. That's the challenge. Yeah! Well, we didn't have that written down, did we? We just had this map with weird Christmas lights. You said you wanted to take control of presenting the show. You didn't want me to do that. Why? Oh, that was my me. It was my turn to be doing the show. Yeah, but uh, look, look, look! It's me what's doing the challenge now, so it should be me doing it. No, no, things are getting complicated. Or what? It's not complicated. It's basic maps. No, no, no! I'll, I'll think you're getting it all mixed up. Or what? I mean, that. It's five police cars we have seen crash, or what? Look, fellas, you just keep not paying attention and look. Look, I'm doing my hardest to, to get around it. Look, another one's crashed. Or what? We'll give you that one. It's upside down, or what? But you've only destroyed six, or what? Not twenty. You're cheating. You're Pain eight. You're not paying attention, that's what. Look. It's like I came into it about it's not um, on film, it doesn't count. I just realised something, you know on your previous thing. Yeah, what about it? You're saying that I wanna burn our rocket fuel up and make us fall flying paper aeroplanes. Wait on, oh, that ain't irrelevant, alright? 
So, I've got a good theory, like I was saying, about you. Look, fellas, we should be paying attention about having police cars. I'm crashing. Look, look at the quality of our driving. Now, no more that, all right. I was pointing out, my brother's been a bit of a naughty boy, all right. Saying he could be dressing up as a gimp. All right, we'll grant you that one. But, got seven. Look, there's more! There's 24 of them crashing! Not eight! No, only eight! No, oh, you're missing it! Look, look, there's another one crashing there! It didn't crash! No, oh, come on! <laughs> you know, you, you, you're the producers of Brad Deserve a point system out! Yeah, for the cars destroyed, not for ones that have little bumps. I mean, you're gonna include that one as well? Yes, that one, that one! Oh, I will give you that one! Yeah, bruv, what are you on about? What are you trying to get at? Well, the thing is, right, what I'm trying to get at, right, and you know very well that I think you've been dressing up as a kid. When you did that previous with the train up in bit, he, we, we all witnessed, didn't we, that he did it a lot. So, I think you're trying to fake it. Now, bruv, what are you... Never mind, that's it, this is my challenge, look, another police car has crashed! Challenge. Well, we'll give you that. See, I'm back. I've done the challenge from a 10p bag now. So, after all that chaos, it's back to the original challenge. What? What do you mean I will dress you like, like the gimp? I don't dress up like the gimp at all. I won't wear rubber at all, brother. No, what I'm trying to get at, you're spending half budget on um, stupid little things. I'm furring them as a girl, girls' programs. What girls' programs? That supernatural vehicle. I, I watch it with that with my mum. Yeah, exactly, you big girls' blouse. But the thing is, you keep furring that vehicle as Mad Max when it actually looks like the vehicle from Death Race. Is that that one with the Frankenstein monster in it? What would they? Dude, you dopey bubbers! The Frankenstein is the scientist! Why would a scientist be driving a car to get around you, Div? Now, what I'm trying to get at is I think I should challenge my brother. I see him shoving it in our face and saying he's driving a supernatural Mad Max mobile when it simply it's from Death Race. My supernatural vehicle doesn't look like any of them vehicles in that film with uh, that guy what played Kill Bill, uh, David Kerosene. Is that it? No, I'm worried about the one with the greatest actor in the whole wide world, Jason Statement. Or the one in the Fast and Furious movies. No, he's not in Death Race. Yeah, he's in Death Race. There's more in whatever you're on about. Yes, gentlemen, Death Race 2000 is a 1975 fantasy sports film, and then Death Race 2 came out in 2010, then Death Race 3 Inferno 2013, and Death Race 2050 in 2017, and Death Race Beyond in 2018. So there's five Death Race movies. In a ki quick cash grab in the 2000s, however, only the original is pre millennial. Um, in 1975, despite being based in the year 2000, when America is on the brink of collapse and the most popular sport is no longer Formula One or MotoGP, but a transcontinental road race for fastest time as we expect, but also points for running over innocent pedestrians. But the 2000 race includes Frankenstein, played by David Carradine, who had the reputation like Star Wars Vader, more machine than man. But he's up against Joe Viterbo, known as, known as hard as nails machine gun, played by Sylvester Stallone. But some have a plan to stop this year's race. So deadly sport for live spe spectators and camera operators, in my opinion. Now, that's a show I wouldn't attempt to organise and present. It'd be even worse than this one. Uh, I saw Rambo drives a racing car then. Yeah! No, you idiot. He does not drive a racing car. 
Right on. What? Oh, 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 right, right. So, the geezer from uh, Kill Bill, that uh, David Car Carrot scene. Death Race is excellent for petrol heads with a wide variety of cars. For example, Death Race 2000 has a 1967 Fiat 850 Spider. A 1953 what? Ford F100, a 1965 Ford Mustang, a 1948 GMC Half Ton, a 1947 Mac LT, two Manga Mirage, a Nova Sterling, a Chevrolet, a Volkswagen Carmen Gia, and Honda Ellensmore 250 bike. And I have to admit, I don't know the rest of the top of my head, but a great lineup. Gentlemen, do you know of any more of the cars in the first Death Race movie? Well, we, we were just talking about that geezer, you know, Kill Bill guy, and I've got some information that he was in Hong Kong for we. No, he didn't play the bloody dog one. He was in the, um, Kung Fu TV series where he walks on toilet paper without breaking it. Toilet paper? Yes! So, it's time to actually end the show. Why on, bruv? Next time on the best um, automatic special or vanishing point, this is what's going to happen. Wait on, it's my turn to end the show, bruv. Start interfering. Who wants to know what's going to happen next time? Who says that's going to happen? So, on that note, on that fried sausage, it's time to end the show. Bye, have a great time. Bye, Melissa, that tweeting for me. That, 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 that. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm crazy, but.